losing yet another extremely close and tough game that came down to the wire, the Los Angeles Lakers can't seem to catch a break. Maxi Kleber's game-winning three-pointer at the buzzer gave the Dallas Mavericks the victory over the Los Angeles Lakers on Friday night at Crypto.com Arena, dropping the Lakers three games below 500 and forcing them to look for a solution to their on-court problems. Austin Reeves, a second-year guard, spoke to the media following another strong effort off the bench. He discussed the significance of the defeat to a club that was also trying to make a postseason push. Reeves stated, Every game you'll lose as a competitor stinks. Obviously, the current situation, where we are, where they are, and how we are attempting to make the playoffs, sucks, to put it mildly. However, 61 free throw attempts is not a good number. It would be a little less stressful in the last stretch if we produced 25 of those. It is unacceptable that I missed three. The essential issue is that, and then we just need to figure out how to move forward in terms of energy. Following the defeat, head coach Darvin Ham expressed concern about his team's free throw shooting and made it plain that shooting 61.3% from the line will not be enough to win a close game. Reeves acknowledges that the locker room atmosphere is not great after the Lakers lost two consecutive games to opponents they should have defeated, but that is to be expected from a club that wants to win basketball games. The mood is certainly low, Reeves remarked of the Lakers' locker room. I mean, just because you lose one that was difficult and that we really wanted and needed. From this point forward, we'll need them all. However, we are a team of rivals, so it stands to reason that if the mood weren't that, I'd be concerned. Simply put, what's the sense of playing if you don't care about losing games that are truly important? So, in my opinion, the atmosphere was just right. Come in tomorrow, view a lot of movies, and take note of what went wrong. With this group, I believe we've recovered fairly well from losses. I'm not sure if we've ever suffered consecutive losses before. However, we must consider how to proceed and participate in the following game. The Lakers still have optimism, but they need to turn things around on Sunday night when they play the lowly Orlando Magic. The team has dropped to three games under 500 with three losses in their previous four games.